Hi, 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 Felting fans. Thanks for joining me today. Today, we're going to make an ostrich. So this channel is all about needle felting. I am fairly new to needle felting, so I decided to make a YouTube channel so I could document all of my felting blenders and, you know, all the things that I'm trying to do. And if you have comments or tips or tricks or better ways to do things or links to other needle felting tutorials, I would love to see them. So please make a comment and thank you so much for being here. Thinking to use this steady, I mean sturdy wire so that maybe it could stand up. Just thinking if this was a leg, this is the body. And then the head is like long neck like this, maybe like that. Is that ostrichy enough? And then what I could do is get another piece about this size, maybe a little longer so I could wind it around as another leg. I don't know. I've never made an ostrich. Actually, that's not true. I made a teeny tiny ostrich when I made my safari baby mobile. Oh, you know what I didn't do is think about little toes. Like maybe I need feet like this. I gotta figure the feet out. It's not gonna be easy like that. And then, okay, so, so do we do that? Up another foot, and then I have this. Hmm. To like wrap around this way. And then I'll start trying to felt it. Ugh. Okay, hold on. Jewel's winging her projects. I don't know. I didn't see anything online about making an ostrich. So I'm just figuring it out. Go like this. Wind this around. Like that. Would that make it more stable, maybe? I don't know. I can't imagine this guy standing on his own. Could I do it where I could stand on his own? Ah! Look at that. He's standing. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> and then I was going to take some wool, like this, and do what I always do with the dogs. Wind this around a bunch of times. And through the little legs and stuff. Like a little anchor. Uh-oh. There we go. Like this. Now anchor it in. Okay, so I just made this little blob of wool as tight as possible. And I could still tighten it up. Just needle felting it in there so it's nice and solid little thing stand anymore but I think if I, I can probably figure it out oh there it is so now I need a big fat body so I'm just going to take a bunch of core wool big core wool tack it onto this to start anchor it on there and then I think I'm going to make him have a little bit of a booty so that there's a balance Maybe I'll stand and then kind of tightly wind it around like this. I'm not being particular about the shape just yet because I don't think that will matter until I get more on here. And I want to make sure his legs will stay. But for now, I'm just kind of tacking a bunch of wool on to get the big fat body. And then I'll wrap the legs. And I got to figure out the toe thing. Maybe I could just use pipe cleaner. It's actually, and then this could be the big toe. I think they have one big toe, right? And then three little ones. I'll have to look. Anyway, I'm going to do this a couple of times. Do a big body. Like this. Tack it on.
All right, I have a fatter body now, and now what I'm gonna do is take skinnier bits of core wool and just wrap the legs one time. Actually, you know what? I don't wanna do that yet. I'm gonna wrap the head first, and then I gotta figure out the feet situation first before wrapping anything. So I'll do like this. wool on his neck and I need to look at an ostrich butt really quick. I'm toying with the idea of adding like this. You know, but I don't think it's that long. I need to look. Okay, so it turns out they actually have one big toe and one little toe and that's it. So this might actually be okay because I could take this and do one little toe and then use the other side to wrap around here to support it like this. And that will be the little toe like that. Ostrich beast, strange beast. And then I gotta get another one. Probably should have figured out what size that was first. What was that like? this much probably good be a little more than I had before and I'll do the same thing on this side look at that two little toes he kind of stands if I'm real careful anyway um, now I'm gonna get really 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 skinny long skinny core wool like this Probably isn't long enough. Probably not long enough. I need longer. Longer. There we go. And I make it really skinny, skinny, skinny like this. Let's see. I kind of want to wrap them very tightly so that I can add one more layer but still have skinny legs. So I'll tack it on this very well and then wrap. I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna wrap it down. Then I also have to wrap each little toe, I guess. Hmm. All right, now I'm at the bottom, so let's see. Um, do, I think I'm going to do this little toe first. I wonder if it's just going to get too thick, and if I should just do this in dark wool. Maybe. I think maybe. I think I'll wait on the toe toe but I could do this toe because this one's gonna be much fatter I think that toe is much skinnier so we might just do that in a different colored wool whatever the wool is I'm gonna end up using like a gray or something then I'm gonna go And then go back up this little leg. Try to make the wool flat like this so it's nice and smooth up his leg. Until I get back to the top. And then I'll tack it back in and then I'll go down the other leg.
we go. Then I'll do the other leg. All right, so I'm looking, I thought I'd make the head and I was gonna make it separately, but now looking at pictures of ostrich, it's just basically like a sort of like this oval shape and I think it might actually be easier to do it on the ostrich. So what I think I'm gonna do is tack some wool onto the neck like this and then just start building up a head like this. I'm gonna make a circle and then I'm gonna just kind of, it's like this flat shape. So it needs to be enough built out. Like his head is like wide on the sides. So I'm gonna wind it around like this and shape it right on it here. And then I'm gonna make um, a bill for his face out of clay and bake that. I think that would be cool. So I'm going to wind it like this and then I'm going to make it flat this way because the head is a little bit of like a pancake shape, not really round. So first I'll tack it all in and then I'll work on making it kind of a flat shape. So the head is kind of flat like this, like this flat. So what I'm doing is kind of faulting it this way so it's nice and flat and then I'm going to put the beak here so I'm making like a little space for the beak see the little indentation there but I see it's kind of falling off so you can see the wire coming out I don't want that so I'm going to put a little bit of core wool around its little neck here to create a little more secure head and then wrap this around like that. And then for the top, I'll just tack it like this a little bit. And then on the bottom, I don't know, it's probably not the best idea to put the head on like this because then I got to deal with this whole body, but that's what I did. I built up this little tower of foam things. I'm going to put my ostrich like this so that the top of his head is there and then I could work on it. Oops, I'll show you. Okay, you can kind of see here. There's the top of my ostrich head and then I'm going to put some little blobs of core wool on the top to make the eye sockets. <laughs> it's all very squirrely. Jeez. So, I have this as my support so I can, you know, felt into the top of its head. And I have a little blob of coral here. And then I'm going to make little bumps on each side. And then I'll put the eye sockets in there. I mean, the eyes in there. I'll show you. So here we go. Just adding to the top of this ostrich. So it has. I saw it. So I built up my ostrich head a little bit. It's got the little bumps on it, and I'm going to add eyeballs to each side. And I'll start with the heavy duty needle. there. I don't even know if I need the albacas or all. How do you pronounce that? But here we go. Stick an eyeball in there. <laughs> okay. Pretty funny. I kind of want them like big on the sides. Oh, I meant to use this needle. Heavy duty. Make a big hole. funny. Uh, okay, so I'll glue those in and then I'm going to make a beak. I added a little bit of glue behind each of those and now I have this polymer clay. Can you see it? And I'm going to take a little bit of it, I already cut a little bit, and try to shape a beak for this 
Now the beak looks like it maybe it's a little flat. I don't really know how it looks. Like this maybe. I was trying to shape about that wide. Anyway, I'm gonna try to shape this little beak and then I'll paint it so that it's more of a light color. I'll paint it and I'll show you that when I'm done. So I made this little polymer thing that I think looks like a good beak, potentially. Can you see that? But I also think what I'm gonna do is stick a little piece of metal in it and hopefully I can cook that, it's no big deal. What I wanna do, I think, is put a piece of metal in it like this. So if I have something to like stick in the glue into there, you know, and I can have something to hold on to right now. And I wanna put like, see the little line I made, but I keep messing it up. Like make this little line that's gonna be the side of his little mouth. Like the beak, the side of the beak. I feel like I'm making it worse. And then this side, I kind of did that side too. Oh my God. Clay is not my thing. There. Now is it straight? Does it look straight? Because it was looking very crooked before. There. There, that's probably okay. All right, so I think that the... Beaks are like a like a off whiteish kind of color, so I'm gonna put some light brown, a little light brown, and a little bit of white, and like make it really pale. Maybe this is maybe that was too much brown. Probably shouldn't have that. I'll use the brown brush mix it up then mix it up see if I can make it like kind of beigey color kind of lightish and then paint it on mm, it's very pink a little too pink I think hmm I mean maybe it needs to be more white I don't think it's terrible. I just think it's probably not quite the right color, but maybe I'll add a little more white and we'll see. It's not terrible though. It's kind of cute. Okay, I'll keep working on that and let you see what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so I had a new idea. I'm not really loving this. I painted it, the beak, even more white, which I think what I'm gonna do is wait on that. Since I've decided I'm gonna make the body this fun purple color, I might actually make the beak purple. And I brought a couple purple nail polishes and I'm gonna see what it looks like when I'm done with her face. I think I'm gonna make the legs and face and neck this color, this kind of peachy color, and go from there. So this is not carded. I think this is merino, so it's very smooth, but Smooth wool, you stretch it out like this, is pretty good for wrapping things like legs. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tack it on up here at the top, like this, and then I'm gonna wrap her legs and neck, and then I'm gonna put it on her head, and this is gonna be her color. And I will show you what it looks like I'm done but let me at least wrap this one leg with you I'm wrapping this leg like this because I want to see what happens when we get to the toes how's that gonna work this piece is not super long so I need it to do like this see it's might have to come back for that like that this toe and I'll have to tack it on 
ear. Like that. That actually worked okay. And then I'll just work on getting it sort of secured and clean it up a little bit over here. All right, so I'll do that now for the other leg and for her neck and show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so I wrapped the neck and her little legs with the kind of peach color, but for the head, I think what I'm gonna do is take some of the peach and then put it in these dog carters that I have and make it more of a, I mean, I call them dog carters, they're dog brushes, and then make it more carded. Um, so it's like a little messed up and easier to felt onto the head. I don't really need to wrap the head. I just want it to be on there. So now I see how it's a little bit more messed up. This is some green in there. So that I can just kind of stick it on here. You know, get the same color and not have to wrap it. And it's easier to do. So I'm going to... My head keeps twisting. I need to kind of anchor it in here too so it doesn't twist around. So anyway, let me do this kind of put this color on the head first I'm just going to do it rough like this and then I'll be a little more specific but I'm going to cover the eyes up so I can create a little eyelid and I want to tack it onto the neck in such a way that our head stops spinning around like it was and once I get to the part where I do the eyelids I will show you but for now I'm going to card a little more of the merino and put more of it on her head so that her head matches this color. Right now it's still mostly coral. So I have done um, a lot more pink on his face. I covered up his eyes. Can you see that? So he looks like a little blindy blind. And then I'm going to kind of cut here where the eyes are and where these eyes are. Theory, if I can get my scissors in here. And then kind of give her a little eyelid. Open it up. I guess I didn't really need to even cut it. Anyway, there's some eyelid. Eyeball. See that? Same thing over here. Yes, my head is twisting backwards. I'm gonna have to figure that out. That's not good. There. Anyway, I think that's super cute, funny. And then I think what I do wanna do is make a purple nose. I don't know that I'm liking the white. Although maybe actually it's not that bad. Hmm, because if this is gonna be the body, that might look kinda cool. Hmm, okay, maybe I'll do that. So I'll cut this. And then I'm gonna, I think I wanna glue the beak in now so that I could figure out if I need more pink around it or whatever, or this kind of peachy color. Kind of looks like a flamingo. I don't want that. No, I just gotta make his head wider. It'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. Do I like this beak though? The color is so weird. Would it be cuter if it was a purple beak? Maybe. I'm thinking purple beak. Okay, now you're gonna think I am crazy, but I want him to stand. Her, it, whatever. And I'm thinking, would it be insane to put a rock on this, you know, up here? <laughs> I'm thinking about adding a rock so she has like a little weight on her. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. So there's the rock. I'm thinking I could literally just strap it in here with core wool. Ooh, you know what? What if I put a bunch of glue on it too? Glue's <laughs> always a good idea. 
I don't want to waste my clear glue. We'll do this glue. This glue. Bunch of glue. Pile of glue. Glue the rock right on there. Oh, now it's this heavy. Ah. Well, I didn't expect that. Okay. Maybe rock isn't going to work. We're going to find out. Anyway, there's my rock. Got to be really careful when I use felt because I don't want to be hitting my needle against this rock. <clears throat> so far, no good, but let's see. Yeah, look at that. She's standing with the rock. All right, well, let's see what happens. I'm going to add this purple now. And I'm going to just make it, like, I just want our body to be, like, kind of fun and fluffy and no big deal. How do I do it? Kind of like this. Yes. Wrap it up like this. So I'm adding a bunch of this purple and now I'm just shaping it like around the legs and kind of shaping it around the body and her neck and stuff. Her head keeps twisting around so I need to kind of make it so that that's not going to happen. It's probably because I twisted this, you know, yarn, not yarn, wool all around her. So it's just going to naturally twist. So I'll have to keep Felting it in till it's a little more secure, but it's kind of looking cute. It's getting there. I gotta put some fluff on the back of her tail, and I want to add a little more purple. I think I'm gonna. I don't know if I should add white fluff or just more purple fluff. See now she's heavy that way. Ah, dang it. Ooh, maybe like that. Then we're gonna figure it out. Maybe my rock idea was not brilliant. Maybe it's in the wrong place. <laughs> Maybe she's not meant to stand. So I'm having some problems with a beak. Um, trying to make it purple and it's drying right now. But in the meantime, I was thinking maybe I could add a little gray toe here to the little foot. So I do have gray, some gray carded wool. I was gonna try to make a toe with the clay, but given the trouble I've been having with the beak, I might just make a beak out of wool. We'll see. I'm thinking about just doing the toe, not toe, nail, toenail, whatever, out of this. Just kind of wrapping it with some gray and doing that. So I'll work on the toenail while the purple beak dries. And then I'll try to glue that purple beak in. We'll see what it looks like on her face. Try to add cute little eyelashes to this. Uh, I think we need black that's like this. You know, it has like long threads. And then we'll take a skinny needle and can you see this? this and then cut them see then we have like little eyelashes I'm gonna do the other one now so Sean pointed out that the head is a little bit too like, like there's too much here going on here. Then an ostrich looks more like this, you know, so I need to work on 
making it a little less bulbous over here like that. So what I'm doing is I have this little face in here. Can you see that? And then I'm just working on kind of getting that bump down on the back of its head. And I think it'll help keep his head straight too, rather than twisting all around because I'm felting it a little bit tougher. So keep doing that and work on making that less of a bulb, like less of a bend back there. Not bend, what am I trying to say? Bulge. The other thing I did, which I'm going to do a little bit more, is take a little bit of the color of her head and do something similar to what I was doing to her eyes and kind of put it like this over the beak so that um, it's a little more seamless looking, not just stuck on there and glued on, but kind of wrap it around here like this so that the beak is like a little bit more covered with some wool and looks like more a part of her face, I think. Kind of pulling it like this around. There. There we go. I think that looks good. Better. it once more. Okay. Next I think I want like fluffy tail and I'm thinking maybe I could just kind of tack it in and then leave it fluffy like this. Let's see if that works. Oh I forgot about the rock. I might make it tougher. <laughs> And then I'm probably going to do a little bit of white as if it's like the tips of the wings. There, like that. Kind of like that. There, I like that. fluffy tail. Is that fluffy enough? Might need a little more fluff. So my battery died while I was doing the fluff on the tail and I thought I was recording when I was putting the fluff on for the little wings but I was not so I'm just showing you here. I added fluff here for the wings and for the tail and I think she's done but our Morgan who I'm making this for asked me to add a little tuft of hair to the top so it looked like she has a little tuft of purple hair so I'm not sure like that I guess what would it look like that doesn't look good uh let me see all right I found a bunch of purple that's smoother and I wonder I could I guess take like a little bit of each like a little like this this one really matches I think Maybe these two is good. Like that somehow. And then what, like, maybe kind of similar to what I did with the eyelashes. I could just poke it in her little head. Like that. Then it just looks like a little fluff coming out. Like that, I guess. Ostrich? Hmm, not sure. I'll have to ask her if that's what she meant. <laughs> like a little punk rock purple? Punk rock purple. Mop, mop, mop. I think she's cute. Here's the finished ostrich with her little purple tuft and her little purple beak. And I think she turned out pretty good for a first attempt. 
Thank you so much for joining me today on the ostrich journey. I hope that you learned something um, and I'm super happy with it. So anyway, I hope you come back. Thanks for being here.